In 1909, French engineer Louis Blériot crossed the English Channel in the Blériot 11. 99 years later, one man will take the same journey. On Wednesday, August the 20th, Yves Rossi successfully completed a crucial 35-kilometer test flight above the Swiss towns of B and Villeneuve bringing him one step closer to becoming the first person in history to carry out a solo, jet-propelled flight across the English Channel. In preparation for his record-breaking flight, Hublot TV joined Yves Rossi during wind tunnel testing with RUAG and final technical alterations to the now infamous wing at the Jetcat factory. We are here uh, today uh, at the Jetcat factory, that's the engine maker of the engines I have on my wing. We are specialized in um, development and manufacturing of miniature uh, gas turbines, which are used in uh, model aircraft or in uh, drone systems. With Eve, I'm not quite sure when it started, but it's, I guess it's around five to six years ago where Eve first time came in with his first prototype of the wing and in those times we did some tests on the P160 engines first but uh, very soon we came to the P200 which is much more powerful and more suitable for his tasks. Last time uh, we had a problem with uh, the pictures. We want to bring the pictures in direct to the television and the pictures I register with the little camera on my wing. We want to transmit them with this little uh, transmitter in direct. And we did uh, find the last uh, time that this transmitter gives some bad uh, magnetic fields near the electronic of the engine and that's the last time I had an engine failure on that engine. So I brought my wing two weeks ago to this place and JetCat, they did analyze the problem and now the solution is today to put this emitter as far away from the electronics. So we will put it here. In order to eliminate as far as possible any interference generated by EVE's video transmitter, the unit was moved away from the electronics controlling the jets. The transmitter was then insulated by creating a makeshift Faraday's cage from aluminium foil and insulating foam. If you look at the engine, you can see on the front, uh, that's, this piece is the um, electric starter motor which is used to start the engine. Then we have two connections. One is for the main fuel, for the kerosene and the other one is used uh, for the engine startup, which is normally made by um, propane gas. On the front here you can see the compressor, it's a radial compressor which takes in the air, compresses it to about three bars in the inside, then the compressed air is being burned and ejected on the rear. Next week is a test in flight to see if, uh, if it works. Eve is dreaming of, instead of jumping out of a plane, to be able to launch from ground. And uh, there are some projects pointing this direction, but I can't tell any more right now. The crossing of the channel has historically been seen not only as a breakthrough for the times, but also a foundation for a technical leap forward. One can only wonder what Eve will be thinking when his feet touch English soil. And what awaits mankind's fascination with flying.